uh, a particle is moving along the curve y equals x squared. So we have uh, the parabola y equals x squared. And the particle is moving along there. So let's just draw it like this. The particle is moving along this curve. And there's a point on the curve we're interested in. That point is the point when x is 2 and y is 4. So when x is 2, let's just call this 4. That's a point that's on the curve. And so what we want to do is uh, that's a point that's on the curve. This is the curve y equals x squared. And um, we know how its x coordinate is increasing with time. Um, so it's moving a particle is moving along this curve. And it's, uh, its x is changing with time, and its y is changing with time to move it along that curve. Um, this is them telling us that dx dt is 2. So um, the question is, how fast is the distance? OK, we have to use distance from the particle to the origin. Okay, so basically this sets up a right triangle where we have the origin and uh, the origin is listed as here. Um, we're moving along the curve. The point is here. This is the origin. And this is a right triangle. So that we have how far it is to the left is x, how far it is off the y x axis is y. And the distance, the point is from the origin, we'll call that z. We want to know how dz dt is changing. How fast is this changing? They want us to find dz dt. And so we can set up an equation that involves these. This is our changing picture again. Let's see here. I'm going to insert text. Yeah, this will do it. Um, there's the snapshot picture. We need that. It looks a lot like this, but uh, we'll know the x and the y. So um, let me take a picture of this. In the sorry, um, in the uh, snapshot picture, what we have is uh, we know the value of y and x um, so x is 2 because I can't overwrite on it sorry 
and y is 4. And so uh, we can get what z is. Um, 2 squared plus 4 squared is z squared. And that's uh, 20. So z is the square root of 20. And you can reduce that to 2 root 5. Pull a uh, make it four times five and pull a two out. So we know z, we know x, and we know y. When we go back here, this is your standard equation that z squared is x squared plus y squared. I know we're trying to uh, talk about the distance, but um, we don't use the square root. It's easy to just to deal with what's underneath the square root. This is how far a point is generically x and y from the origin. And uh, so we take the derivative. We get 2z dz dt. And then we say that's equal to 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt and we know all the players uh, x is 2 y is 4 z is 2 root 5 dx dt is 2 they want us to find dz dt so the only mystery is, is what dy dt is we have all the other players we know that z is 2 root 5 this is what they're asking us to find this uh, dz dt um, and we know that x is 2 and we know that y is 4 we're going to need to know what dy dt is so that we can end up getting dz dt like in the previous problems we need a relationship between y and x and this one is more explicit there's no real guessing the point isn't a random point out in space. The point is a point that's on the curve. It has to have its y equal to x squared. So sometimes you have to go out and get an equation. Something you might, you might need is, is not explicitly given to you. You might have to go get an equation and uh, that relates to your changing quantities to each other. From there, you just take the derivative. dy dt is 2x times dx dt. But we know um, that's it. That's it in general. Um, uh, but, but we know it. Um, the x is two. The d dx dt is also two. So two times two times two. Dy dt is eight. Now it's no longer a mystery, and we have four root five dz dt is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 um, 8 plus uh, 8 times 8 um, dy dt is 8 2 times 4 is another 8 and then um, dx dt is also 2. So where are we at? Um, 8 as so a 64, 64 and 8 is uh, 64 and 8 is 72. 
Take that 72 and divide by 4 root 5. And 4 goes into 72 uh, 18 times. But some people don't like roots on the denominator, so we have to rationalize by multiplying top and bottom by root 5. And what we end up getting is uh, 18 root 5 over 5. Units, uh, what's the, oh, centimeters per second.